got their work cut out though. The ball also sliding onto the bat a little bit better than earlier in the day. Charles Coventry, lots of Bangladeshis would know about him. Almost scored a double hundred in an ODI game for Zimbabwe. But the pressure is on. 9.9 .9 the required rate already. Farhad Reza. I got his name right, Shamim. You did indeed. Here we go. Oh, tucked him up nicely. Good ball first up. Got himself a run, possibly a leg by. Waiting for the umpire signal. There it is. Gets it through. First boundary. Confident shot from Coventry. Look at that. Just a slight movement backwards. Initial trigger movement forward. Adjusting. And uh, there you go. Really timing it. Short arm jab. Nothing else. It's the power. Packs the timing and the placement really strongly in the air there's no fielder down there it'll be four thought he got it well enough to go for six gets underneath that there's no one out there four runs Kane, the heavier bat not taking it over the rope for Coventry there he goes gets it over That'll run away. So back-to-back -back boundaries. Welcome boundaries for Coventry. But he can qualify to be a relative if he plays well. Three balls, two boundaries. Well, Family circles. Goes again. Four more. Well, he's definitely not a relative of Shamin Chowdhury now. Circumspect, but uh, that's high in there. Is it going to a fielder? Oh, that would have been a spectacular catch if he could have taken that. That's cleaned him up. He's chopped on. And uh, this is a big one. Have a look at that. Just leaning back, uh, just uh, taking that bat away from his body. And it uh, deflected on to the stumps. And Ratul has a unique way of celebration. Take that, Tamim. Out for five. Here. Gets off the mark straight away with the boundary. Using the pace of the ball. That's a good start for Zerul Islam Army. Just uh, going back and he's in the middle because of this. Yeah. Backing away, then trying to reach that ball over. Playing that one, getting the inside part of the bat. On. Oh, beautiful slow ball. Dipped on Coventry. Oh, it's bowled him. Four balls, three dot balls, and then the inside edge. Inside edge, onto the pads, deflecting off the pads. Very unfortunate, could have gone anywhere else, but decided to hit the leg stump. And that is the end of Charles Coventry. And he's over the moon, and why not? He did Coventry and he into making a mistake. 23 he's made, 35 for two. Duran to Rashai doesn't get into that frame of mind where they will pick up a boundary. That one will definitely go. Down the ground, and though it was another effort, but went in vain, eventually going for a boundary. Participating over here uh, from Bangladesh, and they are rubbing their shoulder with, I mean, uh, top international players. Well, ball, fish it up, not giving him any room, attacking the leg stump. The gap fully, but eventually, purposefully, boundary, the second one. Well, I thought he hit it really well. He knew exactly where he was hitting because there was a man inside the circle and a man at the deep, and he bisected those fielder and uh, hit it picture perfect. He's going to take the ascendancy. Yes! Not him. He's bought him. Trying to hit it over the top across the line. It's the line. Straight delivery. Missing it. That's the best way to go. Just target the stumps in situations like this. Because if he misses, you hit. That's the end of Simon Cattage. Oops, I think he's given it away. Is the hour. What an over by Harris. The rotting is on the wall. Zia Rahman just checking a shot there. A good catch. Diving to his own bowling. Harris brings out the big smile. Not for this gentleman though. Zia Rahman takes the long distance solid walk back without. That's in the air. There's a fielder lining it up. 
and that is the end of Johorul Islam. Well, that was on the cards, uh, trying to drive it uh, straighter than it ended up. Ended up a little towards the deep cover, boundary, extra cover region, and that was a good take by Ratul. Johorul Islam gone for 26. That's clever. But it still goes for four. That's the bottom. Fielder should reach it. And he spilt it. Misses his length on that occasion and he's latched on big time. He should have started the sixes should have started raining from the very first over. Because they started off with around ten runs. It's a long six, 81 meters, but uh, it's not going to do. It will help them in the run rate. That is run away for four. Push them to the wind, I'm sure. Yes, and that is a good hit once again. Six number two for Duranto Shahi and Mohin Ali. Drug them well. It's in his zone, just a half a step forward. Lovely swing of the arms. Full follow through. Strikes it well. Strikes it for 79 meters. And again. And another. It's suddenly raining sixes. Yeah. And there he goes. Targeting the same area, the same kind of shot, and the same result. This time in the air, the fielder there. That's the end of Moin Ali. He perished, but... Uh, I think it was a good effort from Moin Ali, not quite getting hold of that one and Nazimuddin coming across and under that quite comfortably to send him back to the pavilion. He's gone. Rashahi are 109 for six. Moin. Mm, there is an attempt and they are not going to the third empire straight away. The scene coming from the umpire and that rare scene in the cricket. That the batsman has gone there too on a wide delivery. Russell. Yeah, never easy on the leg side. Ricky Vessel standing behind. Well, I'll be I'll, I want to see that replay. Because when the bails come off, that's when it matters if the batsman's outside. The out first ball though. Run nine for six, Rajai. A real impact production for Channel 9. Got some good shots. Some great camera work. Ball, the ball! That's it! Oh, that's brilliant it. stuff. Brilliant stuff. But still, the commitment is marvelous. A full toss that had to be just dispatched, and this is what Irvine did. A great 16 or 15. That'll make him feel better. At least a few more blows will make him feel better about himself. And he'll be able to take that confidence going forward. Yes, another one. But this time not long enough. Easily taken in the deep. Everything. Sean Irvine, another full draws in that process. Rather a low one. Went for that wild swing of the bat. Never got the distance this time. Departs after 22. Not get any advantage of out of that one and this one he's got rid of him a beautiful in swinging sparing yorker can't make an impact you don't hang around disappointment for Edmondson he had no option either too much to do the first ball duck Razor picks up his third 128 for nine now Yes, that's the end of it. Unfortunate way to end the game. But who's going to complain except the Duranto Raj Shahis? Last, yesterday it was a moping Sharia Nafis. But today, elated man. The innings went nowhere. A couple of starts. But Tami Mikbal, he was the real disappointment. A lot was expected of him. If they were to get anywhere near that total, he was the man. 129, the Duranto Shahis. Yes, they had 
their options so that they can shuffle upon them. Raza, Ahmed, Zadran, all among the wicket. Harris also chipping in with two successes. Sanjumul not getting any wicket. Samad was a little bit expensive as far as economy rate is concerned, but who mind? Yes, they have won this one and that too in style. Raza just leading that charge. He has been pick of the baller with not a too bad economy rate as well. He was a strike baller and that was expected out of him. So all in all, Kulna Royal Bengals have won by 68 runs. They got a mammoth total of 197 runs. They hammered Durantur Rajshahi team all parts of the ground. Nafis got the first century after getting the first 50. Vincent got a great 89 runs innings. Durantur Rajshahi just scrambled under pressure. Jaharul commentary and Ali decided that they can go after the balling, but that was too late and too little. Kulna Royal Bengals in the end won by 68 runs and they are also off the mark in this BPL2. Yes, they are off the bottom, Kulna Royal Bengals. That win has upped their net run rate. And who do we find at the bottom? Duronto Raj Shahis. Who quietly slipped right there. Dhaka Gladiators, Silet Royals sit pretty at the top. But yet, the semi-final spots are not decided. A long way to go and plenty to play for. A thrashing then to the Duranto Raj Shahis at the hands of the Kulna Royal Bengals. 